Arthur. You got candy. Thank you so much for picking this up. You are so sweet. Really? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Gunther moments on Friends. So, I'm thinking no, but thanks. You idiot! Hey Gunther, are these yours? Yeah, that's what I drive. I make four bucks an hour. I've saved up for 350 years. Rachel! For this list, we'll be looking at the scenes that prove why Gunther was one of the funniest and most underrated characters on Friends, despite his limited screen time. What's your favorite Gunther moment? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Phoebe Kisses Gunther Why you stick on me, baby? <laughs> Thanks for the lights, honey. <laughs> Some of Gunther's most memorable moments revolve around his unrequited crush on Rachel. Rachel? Yeah. When's your birthday? May 5th. Why? Oh, I, I, I'm just making a list of people's birthdays. Oh, mine's December. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> In season four, Gunther comes close to living out his romantic fantasy during a game of spin the bottle. Unfortunately for him, it's only a practice round. So, spin the bottle works like this. I spin the bottle, lands on Gunther, so I would have to kiss Gunther. All right. <laughs> While Gunther never gets that smooch from Rachel, he does lock lips with Phoebe the same season. Rachel is my girlfriend. <laughs> Getting better from her cold, Phoebe loses her sexy voice. When Gunther sneezes, Central Perk's resident singer hopes to regain her voice by going in mouth first. Does it even work without my sexy voice? I like it. <coughs> Gunther, kiss me. <laughs> Practically getting his face sucked off, Gunther is left confused and kind of freaked out. Rachel is still the only one Gunther has eyes for. In fact, Gunther feels so guilty that he gives Rachel his side of the story. Well, we kissed. I, I didn't initiate the kiss, but, but I also didn't stop it, and <laughs> I've been feeling guilty. Okay. Number nine, Gunther not invited. Have you seen Chandler? No, no, I haven't seen him. Oh, damn. He's getting married tomorrow, right? Yes, yes, don't worry, everything's fine. <laughs> Every once in a while, Gunther will get invited to the friends' parties. Yet he wasn't important enough to make the guest list for Monica and Chandler's wedding. Ross uncomfortably learns this while searching for Chandler, who gets cold feet the night before the nuptials. Hitting another dead end, Ross tells Gunther that he'll see him tomorrow. Gunther bluntly informs Ross why he isn't attending the blessed event. We'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the wedding. I wasn't invited. <laughs> well, then we'll, we'll see you the day after tomorrow. While the bride and groom forgot all about Gunther, the sexy blonde catches Judy's eye. I certainly see why the girls like coming here. Why? The sexy blonde behind the counter. <laughs> She even adds the Central Park barista to her list, much to Ross's disgust. We wonder if Judy also laminates her list. In any case, it's ironic that somebody finally likes Gunther and he doesn't really pick up on it. Your mother just added him to her list. <laughs> what? Your, your list? Yeah, the list that the people were allowed to sleep. Yes, no, no, I know, I know what the list is. <laughs> Number eight. Gunther's right to refuse service. You would stop thinking about Ross for one minute and you would notice that there were great guys everywhere. I mean, look. Oh, Gunther. I mean, <laughs> he's nice, he's cute. As Gunther continues to pine over Rachel, she tries to reel in her feelings for Ross. Tasked with making her decisions, Monica encourages Rachel to go out with someone else, like Gunther, who overhears their conversation. Although Rachel has never viewed Gunther as a potential love interest, she actually considers Monica's suggestion for about a second. I guess Gunther is kind of... about that guy over there? Remember, that is the guy that you flirted with at the counter that time. As Gunther's luck would have it, a cute guy who Rachel once flirted with is also present. All right, you're the boss. I guess I gotta do what you tell me. 
<laughs> Say that to him and you're golden. <laughs> Rachel asks him on a date instead, prompting Gunther to kick the guy out without an explanation. Even when only given two words to say, actor James Michael Tyler makes the most of them. The annoyed look on Gunther's face as he holds up his sign only adds to this classic moment. See, didn't I tell you? You're getting over Ross already. Well. Get out. <laughs> Number seven, Gunther tells on Ross. But you should probably talk to my roommate because I told him and he knows Phoebe too. Who's your roommate? Gunther. Outside of his job and affection for Rachel, we don't learn a ton about Gunther throughout the show's 10 season run. This makes it all the more amusing when we're given nuggets of information, especially when it comes out of left field. Upon sleeping with someone else, Ross tries to prevent Rachel from finding out. Chloe works with that guy Isaac. Isaac's sister is Jasmine, and Jasmine works at the massage place with Phoebe, and Phoebe's friends with Rachel, and that's the trail! I did it! After talking to Phoebe's co-worker Jasmine, Ross seemingly ties up all loose ends. Did you, listen, did you happen to tell Phoebe yet? No. Okay, Jasmine, please, please don't. Alas, Jasmine told her roommate, who turns out to be the last person you'd expect. Gunther is all too happy to tell Rachel before Ross can stop him. Gunther, please tell me you didn't say anything to Rachel about me and the girl from the copy place. I'm sorry. Was I not supposed to? It's a sad moment for the couple, but one of Gunther's funniest and most triumphant. Also, are we the only ones who want a spinoff about Gunther living with Jasmine? Number 6. Gunther Fluent in Dutch Once again, we're given a glimpse into Gunther's personal life that somehow makes him even more mysterious. Trying to win over a Dutch family, Ross aspires to learn their language. Ross grows increasingly frustrated when he finds out that Gunther speaks Dutch perfectly. Thanks for the coffee. Or, uh... <clears throat> Bedankt voor de koffie, Gunther. Je spreekt Nederlands. Dat is te kerk. Heb je familie daar? Realizing that Ross doesn't understand a word he's saying, Gunther seizes the opportunity to insult Ross in another tongue. Ezel. Ezel. Ezel, Ezel. In a way, it's funnier that subtitles aren't provided. But in case you were wondering, Ezel means donkey. We won't translate Gunther's other comeback, but let's just say that it probably wouldn't have passed the censors in English. We all know how Gunther really feels about Ross, so it's fun to see him being brutally honest, albeit in another language. Azel. Hey, Gunther, you're an Azel. <laughs> yeah, I have sex met Azels. <laughs> Number five, Gunther adopts Rachel's cat. Wow, you made a profit? I just came for the red velvet pillow. Rachel gets more than she bargained for when she spends a thousand dollars on a cat. On a cat? <laughs> it's not a cat! At least, we think it's a cat. Joey, in particular, isn't convinced. Whatever the species, Rachel wants the irritable little beast out of her life. Of course, she also wants her money back, but can only get store credit. I'm out a thousand dollars, I'm all scratched up, and I'm stuck with this stupid cat that looks like a hand. <laughs> Although it appears they're stuck together, Rachel manages to make a $500 profit by selling Mrs. Whiskerson to Gunther. Rachel's admirer isn't even sure what he bought, mistaking Mrs. Whiskerson for a snake. So what is this, some kind of snake or something? <laughs> It doesn't matter to Gunther, though. He'll do anything to score points with Rachel, especially if it means she might drop by for a visit. Yeah, and uh, don't forget, you, you can come visit her anytime you want. Oh, good, great. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. She doesn't. But at least Gunther owns something that once belonged to Rachel. Number four, Gunther loves Rachel. One of the show's best running gags was born in season three when we learn about Gunther's feelings for Rachel through an inner monologue. What does Rachel see in this guy? <laughs> I love Rachel. I wish she was my wife. It's also revealed that he thinks Ross is a schmuck, although that pretty much applies to anyone who Rachel dates. Hi, Gunther. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> 
When they break up and Ross becomes engaged to Emily, Gunther shows up at his bachelor party. Okay, now, uh, in terms of the invite list, obviously I got you, me, and Chandler, and I'm gonna invite Gunther because, well, we've been talking about this pretty loud. I'll be there. <laughs> Not because he's happy for Ross, but because he's marrying anyone other than Rachel. Thanks for not marrying Rachel. <laughs> After Ross accidentally says Rachel's name at the wedding, Emily insists that he sever all ties to her. This includes getting rid of everything Rachel touched in his apartment, which Gunther is eager to claim for himself. Emily thinks we should get all new stuff, stuff that's just ours, together, you know, brand new. So basically this is a getting rid of anything Rachel ever touched sale. Touched, used, sat on, slept on. I'll take it all. <laughs> Rachel may never become Gunther's wife, but Ross's failed marriage certainly benefited him. Number three, Gunther the Soap Star. Hey Gunther, let me get a uh, lemonade to go. Lemonade? You okay, man? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's career stuff. I don't know if you heard, but they killed off my character on the show. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Of all the random facts we learn about Gunther's past, his days as a soap star might be the most surreally hilarious. Upon getting fired from Days of Our Lives, Joey tries to convince himself that he'll bounce back. Joey comes to see just how cruel show business can be when Gunther reveals that he used to be on All My Children. He played a character named Bryce, who was buried in an avalanche. That sucks. I was buried in an avalanche. What? I used to be Bryce on All My Children. This raises so many questions. When did Gunther get into acting? Did he have other gigs? Did he pioneer the smell the fart technique? Whatever Gunther's full story is, this strangely foreshadows Joey's future, as he also ends up working at Central Perk before making a comeback. See, I was a regular on a soap opera, you know, and, and to go from that to this, it's just, it's just and, and plus, you know, I have to wait on all my friends. Okay, but the money's good. Plus, you get to stare at Rachel as much as you want. Number two, Gunther drops a cup. Gunther and Ross have one thing in common. Both are in love with Rachel. With Ross finally out of the picture, Gunther sees his chance to ask Rachel to be his lover. Say, Rachel, I was wondering if you'd like to go to a movie with me sometime. As my lover. <laughs> mm, too out there. Maybe you'd just like to get something to eat with me sometime. As my lover. As Gunther keeps trying to find the right words, he misses his window of opportunity. Mark shows up and asks Rachel out, saying what Gunther couldn't. James Michael Tyler's understated delivery is part of what makes Gunther such a funny character. In this instance, though, Gunther can't contain the rage brewing within. Going into the back room, Gunther takes out his anger on what sounds like several breakables. Wow, um... I dropped a cup. According to Gunther, however, it was merely a cup. We guess Gunther and Ross actually have something else in common. They both hate Mark. Well, I told him I would think about it, but I'm gonna tell him no. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I think I'd say no to anybody right now. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Phoebe helps him escape from party. Of all the friends, Phoebe probably treated Gunther the best. All right, <clears throat> I can get you out. What? In a minute, I'm gonna create a diversion. When I do, walk quickly to the door and don't look back. Mouse out of the house. Gunther says what everyone else is thinking. I, 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 don't, know, I don't know what to say. Hey, buddy. This is a family place. Put the mouse back in the house. Rachel needs a hug. Gunther can't catch a break, although he might have broken something. Joey or Chandler? To be fair, Chandler doesn't even know Gunther's last name. Hey, Gunther, have you, uh, have you seen Chandler? I thought you were Chandler. 
But, um, what if he's over there? Ross gets hurt. We've never seen Gunther happier. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Gunther confesses his love for Rachel. Rachel? Yeah. I, I know you're, you're leaving tonight, but I just have to tell you. I loved you. After years of will they or won't they tension, the Friends finale answered the question on everyone's mind. Will Rachel and Gunther get together? Okay, so we always knew this relationship would never happen, but it was still nice to see Gunther's character arc get closure. No, I, I, I don't know if that changes your plans at all, but <laughs> I, I thought you should know. With Rachel headed for Paris, Gunther lays all of his cards on the table. It's one of the finale's many surprises, and while Rachel doesn't reciprocate Gunther's romantic feelings, she does have a few genuinely heartfelt words for him. And, and when I'm in a cafe having coffee, or I see a man with hair brighter than the sun, <laughs> I'll think of you. It's a bittersweet moment, which is an appropriate note to leave Gunther on. Jennifer Aniston and Tyler both got emotional while shooting. Gunther wasn't always treated as one of the friends, but Tyler certainly left an impact on his co-stars and the audience. Because she's just gonna shoot me down. You guys saw what happened with Gunther. That did not look like fun. How can you compare yourself to Gunther? I mean, sure, he's sexy in a more obvious way. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.